Good evening and welcome to NAZ Today. I'm Xavier Rangel. Breaking news tonight, ISIS is claiming former NAU student, 26-year-old Kayla Jane Mueller, has been killed by Jordanian bombings in Syria. Mueller graduated from NAU back in 2009 and since then had traveled to numerous foreign countries working to help underprivileged people in troubled areas. Mueller was reportedly kidnapped silently back on August 4th, 2013, around the Turkey-Syrian border with three Syrian friends. Mueller had been serving as an aid worker for support to life at Sheikh Nahar Aleppo, working with orphans in refugee camps near the border. Mueller traveled with Syrian friends and planned to purchase sewing machines that would be used in a sewing workshop for a group of Turkish women Mueller and others were working with. The three Syrian hostages were reportedly released after a few months while, real, while Mueller remained in captivity. There are reports specifically through the Daily Beast that ISIS was in talks with the U.S. government to release Mueller for $6 million, a deal prohibited by U.S. law. Jordanian officials say there is no proof to this claim and it may be a PR stunt by ISIS. Skepticism surrounds the claims by the terror group and many suspect this to be propaganda by ISIS to cast blame on Jordan and the United States. There has been no pr substantial proof of Mueller's death and there is still the possibility that Mueller could be alive. Now, Kayla is from Prescott, Arizona, and her family had been reportedly contacted by the captors back in May of 2014, asking for ransom money. For this reason, the Mueller family had been asking for privacy, and the thinking was until just recently, by keeping her name out of any news reports, they could better ensure her safety and possible return. Mueller worked for the Lumberjack newspaper where she wrote about issues in the Middle East, writing in one of her articles, quote, more can be done to address problems overseas. During a visit to her hometown of Prescott back in May of 2013, Mueller made a speech to the Prescott Kiwanis Club saying, quote, for, a long, for as long as I live, I will not let this suffering be normal. It is important to realize what we have, why we have it, and how privileged we are from, what, from that place. Start, start caring and get a lot done. Mueller had also worked at the Northland Cares AIDS and HIV clinic in Prescott, Arizona back in 2011. Now, obviously, this is painful news to family and friends, and immediate responses to media requests by NAZ Today have been denied. NAU has, however, released a statement saying, quote, the Northern Arizona University family is deeply concerned by this disturbing report regarding our alumna, Kayla Mueller. Our thoughts are with her family and friends at this difficult time. Now, if the report of Kayla Mueller's death is true, she will be the fourth American killed by the terror group ISIS. We will be sure to keep you updated as more details on this story become available.